okay to start my class okay. today i will be talking about electric organs in fishes i will share my screen Are you able to see electric organs? Yes, sir. Electric organs in fishes. We will go first. This is actually the uh, chapter is from uh, Khanna and Singh, the fish and fisheries, and that that is the only good book you have in India for students. The others are very advanced level, like Jingram and all these are very high, highly advanced books. So uh, there you must have heard about fishes, which actually release electric current. Anybody who touches it gets an electric shock. The most important of them, we have heard about the electric eel, ban match. You can have, a, you can get a shock. So this is, uh, uh, it has evolved independently as an adaptation to their environment. So uh, there are two types, the ones which possess large electric organs and they have strong electric current and then there are some which produces weak electric discharge. Most of them are fresh water apart from torpedo. So uh, more important one you can see that uh, this torpedo, Shankurmach torpedo. It has got one pair of uh, electric uh, organs, around 60 volts of current potential difference it, it releases. And, uh, you know, its habitat is marine. Then you have the, uh, the electrophorus among fishes, one much. They have got three pairs. <coughs> they release around 350 to 550 volts. Rivers of South America, you can find it even in India. <coughs> okay, so uh, one thing which we know that the most important thing is the presence of electric organs. Electric organs. So what are the, what is the structure of these electric organs? Each organ is uh, basically this electric organ uh, have uh, made up of uh, specialized uh, muscle cells. Specialized muscle cells. They are made up of specialized muscle cells. And uh, they are also known as electrocytes or electroplates. Specialized muscle cells known as uh, electrocytes or electroplates. So uh, what happens, They uh, throughout evolution, they lost the ability to contract. But they got modified to generate current. So these cells are arranged in stacks, one after the other. Akir por ak or in a series like a battery is in a torchlight so as to face the same direction in a given species and they are uh, embedded in a jelly like extracellular material so these stacks like battery are inside an extracellular jelly material and they are bound together by connective tissue as usual it is multinucleate so it has got many nuclei and nearly transparent cytoplasm one side is rough, raised into papillae or fold, and the other side is smooth. The smooth surface is supplied with nerves. So one side is rough and one side is smooth. If you have a look. So one side is rough, AJ Rakum papillae like like structure is here. 
and one side is smooth. The mode of contact between the nerves and the electrocyte may differ in various species. Okay. Now, if you look, this is the electric organ in torpedo. You take a cross section, you can see that little circular things. They are actually the electric organs. So, torpedo, you know, it's a marine fish that produces strong electric current. The fish has two large and two small sized organs on each side of the body. Like you can see, the, this is why it's like kidney shaped. And uh, the uh, seventh, ninth, and tenth cranial nerves are uh, innervate this particular organ. So each of this organ is composed of 45 vertical hexagonal column having 400 electrocytes. So 45 vertical hexagonal corner, six corners. Each of them have 400 electrocytes. The smaller organ is li lies in between the larger ones. So you can basically see the kidney shaped larger organs. The innervated size, the side of the electrocyte uh, is electrically negative to the other side. So this smooth side is innervated. This smooth side is innervated. And inner side, it is negative. The innervated uh, is electrically negative to the other side and all work together in parallel. These fishes are capable of paralyzing a fast swimming prey moving above them by the electric current, therefore capturing them. And this current passes from the dorsal, from the dorsal side to the ventral side, around 30 to 60 volts. Now let us, uh, next thing which we will see is the mechanism. There are a lot of things to study. The mechanism of electrical discharge. It is like a nerve impulse. It is like a nerve impulse. You have one side smooth, one side rough, the outer side is positive because high sodium outside inner side is negative so what happens when an electric uh, uh, when the nerve impulse electric stimulation takes place depolarization takes place and sodium starts channels open and sodium starts to enter and potassium uh, exits and the result loss of one current one uh, negative charge so the outer side becomes negative and inner side becomes positive, just like how it happens in a nerve impulse. So the discharge from the electric organs is in the form of a series of brief pulses, which in species of torpedo, electrophorus, and malapterus occur in small groups as reflex response. The moment you touch them as a reflex response, this electrical charges are discharged. Now you know that electrocyte is the modified muscle cells. One surface is rough and the other is smooth. The smooth surface is innervated. That is nerve bones. When at rest, the membranes of the cell are charged. And there is a semi-permanent polarization of the two ends of the electrocyte. That is, it is at resting membrane potential. And there is outer side negative, inside is ne uh, outer side is positive, inside is negative. Like a nerve cell or any any cell the intracellular uh, 
fluid is uh, minus 100 millivolt negative. Now, in what happens in our case, the resting membrane potential in nerve cells is minus 70 millivolts. The electric potential of the uh, membranes is maintained at rest, primary due to sodium ion exclusions. Sodium ions, there are many uh, you have read in the resting membrane potential. There are uh, three uh, reasons why it happens because of one is the uh, electrical difference, second is the um, uh, electrogenic effect, third is the uh, chemical difference, sodium high, uh, uh, sodium low, potassium high, potassium low. So every three sodium, there is two potassium exchange. So there is a single negative charge ex uh, excess inside. So a nervous stimulus comes and depolarization takes place and this influx of sodium uh, uh, inside the membrane, it excites adjacent membranes to depolarize. Only the smooth surface depolarizes as that is only innervated. And now the funny thing is that this is inner, this depolarizes, this depolarizes, this depolarizes. So, so many of them together like batteries, one battery, this much amount of depolarization charge, two and like that 400 of them, it produces something about 150 millivolts of current is produced. So this is how actually uh, the electric current is produced. Any questions here so far? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. The questions are you kichu? Karu, hack in a bolo? No, sir. Acha. I'll never erect as a slide that have over me. It's a nerve impulse. Actually, the nerve impulse to propagation. Simple as that. Into J to act on a proper battery, battery or a proper roach, a prochure at a high electric voltage. Hey, Jay. So electrogenesis in fishes. So what is electrogenesis in fishes? Act second. Electrogenesis refers to the production of electrical impulse in the tissue of a living organism. That is electrogenesis. It is observed in fishes, reptiles, mammals, shop power jaigulo. So in fishes, strong, strongly like torpedo, electrophorus. Aj electrophorus dekcho, raja ke dekcho ekhane, raja sarna. You are seeing this is the raja. Akuno ke dhukche de. Disturb hoye jachche. Electrophorus, one much. Electric organs, they are specialized for the production of an electric field outside body. AJ. You can see these are the two electric organs. A duto electric organ to me a dekta pacho. So they are specialized for the production of electric field outside body. So outside the body, there is electric field in between nerves, but outside it generates an electric field. It is built of large number of disc-like cells called electroplates or electrocytes. And their electroplates are embedded in a jelly-like extra extracellular material and enclosed within a compartment of connective tissue. Like a flat kidney shape, malapterous with the lozenges like shape. So somehow they are uh, they are arranged like in a like stacks, purple. 
and one side is smooth one side papilla dekho one side is smooth one side has got papilla ei choto choto finger like comb like projections and all of them are innervated all of them are charged one side depolarizes one side doesn't depolarize and one side e to por por onek gulo thakle innervation er jonne you have a high amount of electric field produced acha pattern of electric organ discharge you can have as it has a monophasic pulse mane e rakom hote pare jik jik hote pare eta just one ekta ekta brief electric shock biphasic jik jik duto or it could be the russian pulse or polyphasic onek gulo grr kore por por jay pulse ta so in electrophorus one false uh, small pulse followed by four large pulse electric shock repetition of sequence of your por 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 hote thake in torpedo four large pulses which are continuously repeated so mechanism resting phase biradic positive vetodic negative this is the smooth side smooth side rough side so immediately action potential comes depolarizes hoye gelo vetod dik ta positive and this is this is the spike stage byre ta negative kan bhetore sodium dhuke geche so receptor to the brain brain to the optic nerve now optic nerve to the electric organ or receptor through motor nerves it stimulates the electric organ so this is the pathway of neural control of electric organ so function of electric organ first is food procurement shock diye khey nilo defense species and sex recognition finding direction from the current communication navigation so these are the functions of electric organs so why are fish immune to their own electric current so their nerve fibers are myelinated with high insulation tai jonno shock khay na so thank you very much eta hi hocche mane chotto slide baniye diyechilam aro koyekta boi theke niye so uh, any question regarding how the nerve uh, impulse is generated how the electric current is generated thakle bolo jodi na bujhte paro bolte paro please tomader eta patiye debo thik ache tale okay bye bye sir oi nerve impulse er ha खुब माइन्यूट है माइन्यूट पाच बैटर मतन पर डिपोलाइज 
जिनिसार्किटेड जिसके कारण क्या हो जाता है तुम्हारा वो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बन जाता है बीच में उल्टा हो जाता है उल्टा हो जाता है इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड होगा तो वो जैसे एक तुम्हारा कोई अर्थिंग नहीं है तो तुम्हारा देखोगे टच करोगे सडनली शॉक लग जाता है क्योंकि वो टच नहीं करोगे तो शॉक नहीं लगेगा टच करोगे तो शॉक लगेगा ठीक है ना ये नहीं है कि वो वो जैसे शक्तिमान ऐसे इलेक्ट्रिक करंट छोड़ता था ऐसे नहीं है यू नीड अ कंडक्टर कोई कोई प्रे आके टच करेगा तो तुरंत दे विल बी स्टंड बाई बिकॉज वो खुद ही तो एक इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट हो शॉर्ट सर्किट होके बैठा हुआ है एक इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बना दिया है तो एक में कुछ नहीं होता है बट इफ यू हैुगेदर बहुत तगड़ा शॉक लगता है ओके समझे चालू ओके देन आर सर बोल से मैराइन वाटर है तो सॉल्ट कंसंट्रेशन बेसी थके सॉल्ट है सॉल्ट है शेष शेटा जो ना क्या तो मात्र तो इंसुलेटेड थके बाकी जाएगा गुलो और अकुम सॉल्ट कंसंट्रेशन तुम्हें मैराइन है तो थके सॉल्ट लेकिन तो ताज्जुन ने अतोटा होय ताज्जुन ने एक तो चाद्दी के इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड टा कंडक्ट कोत्ते ही पारे किंतु बेसिकली उटा टच कोले माने तुम्हारे नार्व स्टिमुलस टा होगे व्हेन इट इस थ्रेटी थ्रेटन माने स्टिमुलस टा भेतो थे क्या आशे हो देर बाहरे थे क्या ना बाहरे जिन्ही जेही टच करे ओनली देन बाहर का चीज जब टच करेगा ओनली देन इन अंदर से नार्व वाके स्टिमुलस देगा एंड सॉल्ट वाटर डेफिनेटली � ठीक थैंक यू सर यू वेलकम